What's up guys? Today we're actually out in Wyoming and if you can't tell by the title of this video, we're antelope hunting out here basically in the middle of nowhere. And as you can see, all that's around us is really sagebrush, a few cows, mountains, and me standing out here talking to my camera in the middle of nowhere like an idiot. So what we're going to do, basically I've actually hunted this unit before. We're in unit 67, Wyoming. As far as this year, I mean, with, with the big game tags and stuff like this, like this is one of the hardest units to draw, unit 67. I mean, it can it can be a hit or miss year. One one other thing we like to do, we like to call the biologist game horn, you know, is it a good precipitation year? Is there a lot of horn growth? And honestly, I mean, it's kind of a bad year for horn growth, so, I mean, we kind of came on this hunt, so we're going to keep driving around. Sage grouse is open. If you guys don't know what a sage grouse is, here's a sage grouse right here. They're basically like a turkey chicken that flies. I don't know. If we drive around, we're going to see if we can see some sage grouse. Enjoy being out here, because by the looks of it, I don't know if there's many big ones around. I mean, we've been driving around for a while now. We've been talking to other hunters here. I think they gave out 300 tags. It's just... It's been a really tough hunt so far and if we see a decent one We're gonna get out go potentially make a stock on him see if we can get within a hundred yards or so that way We can kind of judge them better the antelope are so hard to judge I mean you're judging this much different between a 13 and a 15 inch antelope Obviously a 15 inch antelope is a real nice antelope, but see if we can find an old big and I guess let's go He's probably 13 14 cutters are just above his ears not terrible. I don't think it's what you want though. It's hard to judge him from the back. They always look bigger from the back. Yeah, he's turned sideways now. He doesn't look terribly big. Not terrible. He has really good curls. If he would turn so we could see his cutters. Yeah, they're just at the ears. He's probably 13 inches. Each little green patch seems to be holding a few antelope. He's right 13 inches. Real dark. Basically, what we're doing, kind of hunting these antelope, drive these little back roads, these little two trackers. You see these antelope way out there. Pull out your spotting scope, you pull out your glasses, and you're just glassing most of the time. Get way back in there, maybe walk over a couple hills. We we will get out of the truck. If we see a decent one, we're going to get out, make a closer stock. That way we can kind of judge them a little bit better. And if you can't tell, we're hunting antelope. We got the buck tag. But one major thing we look for is cows. Because if a farmer has cows, if the state leases their land for the farmers to have cows or whatever, the cows have to have water. Anything, whenever you're hunting game, birds, big game, anything thing they have to have water so if you look for cows that's a sign there's water somewhere around because the cows need water obviously so right down there there's a few cows that tells me there's water somewhat around so there's probably gonna be antelope around <laughs> so that tells me there's probably gonna be antelope somewhere around here one of our major hints when we're going around I mean you can go around on some of these back like up in those up in the mountains and stuff just driving for hours and not see any antelope I mean this is big country out here so if you're watching this to, for kind of a tip video antelope hunting one thing look for cows the second thing don't overjudge them because they'll have ground shrinkage it, it, they're just so hard to judge i mean it's so hard to tell when you're at 300 yards trying to take a shot so another main thing look for the green areas there's hardly like no rain out here i think I'm, how i'm gonna do this we're just gonna drive around spot an antelope trying to get a good look at them try to glass some and then try to get a go this cutter's blow his ears kind of crooked going off yep. to the left. Yep, he is. All right, we saw some sage grouse up here. I'm going to throw you guys on the head strap, and we're going to go and try to see if we can get some of these grouse. There's still grouse in there. Oh no. Did you give it any? Well, we dropped two right here, didn't we? I just saw one. Man, we only got one out of that? Oh, it's still alive. Huh. I think we both smacked him. Yeah, we got one, but we dropped the second one, but then when we hopped up over the road, he jumped up. Well, we only got one. All right, well, we got one, CG. Let's see him. Cool looking. I can't tell if it's a male or female. Like, all right, go get some more. How are you? Good, how'd it go? Want to see something cool? Oh yeah, oh, that's wow. that one that kid was talking about. Someone saw him yeah. yesterday. Huh. 
we spotted a pretty decent one. It's right up over this hill. How much time do you think we have till dark? An hour? We're gonna go up here and see if we can get a better look at it. We've probably sorted through like a hundred bucks today though. About halfway there. We're gonna try to peek up over this hill and hopefully he's right below us still. We don't know exactly how big he is, but he looked pretty good through the binoculars, so we're gonna check it out. How far do you think we go? We're gonna put this hill here and look. Okay, we're gonna try to make it to the base of this big hill. And then we're gonna try to look down. I don't know, I guess you know, yes, maybe get a shot if he's real good. Or decent because I'm tired of looking at ammo. Dropped him. Well, you did. <laughs> that you did. <laughs> oh, you dropped him. Not sure how huge or small he is, but you did drop him. Wow, that was a long shot. Great shot. Whew. My Jack. back is sore. We're done. I figured if I missed, it was a good enough shot, long enough shot. My okay, back sore from sitting here going like this with the gun the whole time. And I was like, you know, if I miss. It's a long shot, and then I looked up and <laughs> this is the biggest one we've seen. We've literally just been driving around from sun up to sundown, spotting about how many bucks do you think we saw today? A hundred. Picking and weaving about a hundred, and this is the best one we've seen. So let's go check him out. If he's 13 and a half, I'll be happy. I think he's decent. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Shot him from way at the top of that hill. All the way down at the bottom in here. My back was starting to hurt and I didn't know if I was gonna be able to make that shot. So that's half the reason I shot him. It's because I was like, well, even if his, <laughs> even if he isn't a great one, I can make a good shot and we can go fishing tomorrow. All right, moment of truth. Let's see how big he is. He's had the biggest tops that we've seen. His cutters were his ears, unless he had really small ears. We are lucky, he had midget ears. Yeah, <laughs> he has midget ears. But I don't think we're gonna see one that's bigger than this, so. It's not bad. Yeah. He may be 14. Yeah. He's probably 14 though. Nice ivory. Yeah, he does have, I don't think we've seen many with ivory. How oh, long you think this phone is? Five inches? Maybe. He's quite a bit above the ears. Probably 14. He ain't bad. Sure oh, bad. I drilled him center punch right through the shoulder. Right through the shoulder. I'm happy with him, happy with the shot. And... It's the worst part. I should have shot him closer to the road.